Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 10 of Galactic Science, a mud pack by Caitlyn. So in the last episode, we finished this whole automated setup. We're missing one piece of the puzzle though, and that's actually cooking the resource. Just to do a quick re-explanation of this, I have the sorting chest here with a high priority, set up to receive all of the broken, crushed, and powdered ore. Duncan Webb uh, left a comment as a tip and trick saying that I should be able to just say broken and then star and crushed and then starred and powdered and then star. I th seem to remember trying that and it didn't work for me. Maybe I had a mistake in how I made the star or how I wrote it. But uh, this is already set up and working, so I'm going to leave it like that. But know that you could try just saying broken and star. So I have filters in here and I'm bringing all the broken stuff here because here I have N, D, Meteor to break everything up. I have this one here to receive the crushed and put them together. And I have the one back there to receive the dust and put them together. And they get thrown back in this chest and they automatically, all of the gravel and sand comes into that chest. As you can see now, it's pretty full. Uh, I'm going to need some aluminum soon. So I reordered to make sure that the aluminum was uh, in the beginning also going to try and put the things I don't need at the end so hopefully anything new like when it processes the aluminum it's going to bring everything back forward and what's in here already some copper okay I'll, li I'll let the copper be and that was aluminum so I still haven't resolved my power problem by the way like this one is not full and this one's going to empty soon and these are not getting powered, so I'm not processing resources as fast as I can. Because what I discovered is that we can only fill really four slots with one extract. It doesn't fill them fast enough. So one upstairs fill these four and bring some here. And this fills these three and bring some here. And I even have that one that's not connected to anything that I'm going to move, need to move somewhere. So I need to fix my setup, and that's going to be done with some... Uh, interconnected Jabba barrel. I just don't think I'm going to be able to do it in this episode. So what I'm missing is actually cooking the resource because if I go up here now in that chest, I'm getting all of the cooked resource, uh, all of the dust, but these need to be cooked. So I'm going to need to set up a furnace. Oh, I have some here to process. Do I have any here? No. So let me show that in any chest and it'll get sorted in the right place. So I need to make another furnace like so. And I'm going to make a hopper. Uh, I'm going to make a hopper because for how I'm going to fuel this furnace, it's just going to be so much simpler using a hopper than a transfer node. So let me just do it like, uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do a hopper because I want to keep the iron. So I'm going to craft a, a set of transfer nodes because I'm going to need a couple and I only have one. Oh, I have some power cable here. So let's craft some transfer nodes. I'm going to need two stones. I already have a chest, this, two uh, redstone, and what else? So this, oh no, <laughs> like this. So chest, two stone. I've been making so many of these. Two redstone, one ender pearl, and one transfer pipe. Perfect. And I'm going to keep that chest, and I'm going to grab two stacks of this. Oh, not two, two stack. Perfect. So now if I come downstairs, I'm wondering if I can reuse. Yeah, I can reuse that chest and that's what I'm going to try and do. Basically, the furnace needs to be fed from the top and extracted from the bottom. So I'm going to put the furnace right here and I'm going to put an extraction node right here that I'm connect, connect to the top. I'm going to need a filter though in there because yeah, exactly. I don't want to cook these, but it's not starting to cook. So I'm going to put a filter before I do that. Then I'm going to go under right here and I'm going to grab all of the output resource cooked from there. Oh, can I disconnect this though? I don't want these two to be connected. Let me just check that quickly or else I'm going to have to rearrange it a little bit. So let me see. Can I... First, I don't want this connected, and then I don't want this connected. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so these are not touching. So now I'm inputting and extracting. The one thing that I'm missing, though, is I need to be inputting uh, the carbon from this side. 
So I'm going to put a chest right here and an extraction node right there. And hopefully I'm going to also be able to disconnect those uh, like this and then like that. Yes, perfect. And then I can just transform these two stack of coal into fuel pellet and put them in here. Oh, wow. This is going to last a long while. This is a lot of fuel pellet. Perfect. So this should be filling. Oh, no, and I'm cooking stuff already. Oh, derp. No, 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 no. Whew. I don't want to be cooking resource because I didn't put the filter yet and that would be a waste. Okay. Thank God I stopped that in time. Let me put all of that back in here. So now I also have to get the dust. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to say uh, star. I'm going to put it at the beginning. I'm going to say star or dust. We'll see if that works. And technically, if I go and rearrange the filters upstairs, it should bring them in here. And while I'm up there, I'm going to grab the uh, create a filter. So if I move this here, see, it's not working. Technically, these are something or dust. So it should be grabbing those. Let's craft the filter quickly. I'm going to need four of these and a string. Do I have a string? Yeah, right here. And let's make a filter like so. Two, three, oh, did I put the stick in the right place? That's the question. Nope, as always, always in the wrong position. Oh, like this, and now this, and do I have one, two, three, four, five, six? I only have six of them. I don't have all seven of them, so I would need an iron one also. So iron first, gold, copper, aluminum, lead, silver, and tin. And now I need, oh, why do I have this? Now I need an iron one. Let's just go downstairs and see if I can get an iron one quickly. Is there any iron in this chest? Yeah, I'm going to break down an iron sand right now. So I'm just doing this to try and accelerate the process. And I'm going to put the aluminum sand right here. Great, let's see. This should be... Where did I put the iron? Oh, it's already processed, so I should have an iron ore dust upstairs. Let me go back upstairs. And... Nope. Okay, where's my iron ore dust? I was really expecting to get an iron ore dust. What did I break down in the end? Did it grab here? I have ore gravel in here. Uh, okay, let's grab another iron ore sand. I don't know why it didn't work, but let's put that in instead. And I'll put the tin, this is the aluminum ore. And I'll put the tin back in in there. Where's the tin? Right here. Nope, not you. Perfect. So now hopefully it did work and I have an iron ore. Let's go back upstairs and that's a lot derpy from me. Uh, yeah, finally I have an iron ore. So I can not do that. I can right click the filter, put that right here and move all of these back like so. And then I'm going to go put the filter downstairs to make sure that I only extract what I want. Um, ooh, sorry, sorry. I have to also do another thing. I completely forgot. How do I make a reverse filter? So this is a... Right-click to change filter program. Craft a redstone torch to invert. Can I do that with this one also? Redstone torch. I'm going to need a redstone torch for my nose cone. So let's make that right now. Redstone torch. I've never made an invert filter, so we'll see how that goes. So if I put that here and I put a redstone torch together, inverted. Ooh, that's good, but it uses my redstone torch. So I'm going to need four more of these, five. I'm going to need an extra string. I'm going to need some more sticks. Now let's put these in the right place this time. I shouldn't be getting that wrong a second time. Put the string there. So that's my normal one. And let's make the torch for the nose cone. 
And now let's grab all of these and make the second filter. So this one is inverted, which means not these. And then I'm going to make a normal one. So iron, gold, aluminum, copper, lead, silver, tin. And I'm going to put all of these back in here, except my torch. And then I should be able to go out uh, downstairs. So I'm going to make sure that in this one, I put the inverted. So I don't want the dust to go in that one. And in that one, I'm going to put these because I only want the dust. And now I'm going to change the filter condition. And here I'm going to say, um, then I'm going to put them in order. If I'm, if I'm about to do it this way, iron or dust, gold or dust, copper or dust, aluminum or dust, silver or dust, lead or dust, oh, and then tin or dust. Whoa. So while you're writing, it might grab things as it goes. That's not so good. So let's go back upstairs. No, let's fall down before going upstairs. <laughs> now let's go back upstairs and throw these in and this in and reorganize all of these and perfect. So now technically all should be good. Let's go check if that worked. Yes. And yes. And no, not the gold or send, but that's probably from before the filters were in. So now let's put the pellet back here and let's put the extraction node back here. And we're going to have to re-disconnect it again. Oh, perfect. Et voila. So now we're cooking the resource and the resource as they cook are being brought back in that chest and that chest doesn't want to have ingot. The ingot are going to want to go in the right position. So as soon as one come in here is going to leave for good. Perfect. So now I'm seeing that I'm cooking some aluminum ingot. If I go back upstairs and I look at aluminum, I have eight. I'm just going to wait one second to see it go to nine. Yeah, nine. So I finally have now fully automated resource and I'm about to run out of oxygen again. Let's go get some oxygen and we can continue with what we're doing. Move this out, put this here like this. Perfect. Okay. So now that we're done with that, I want to start cooking the steel. I have enough iron to do it and I want to start making everything that I need. So I'm going to need 93 steel. So let's get Oh, I don't even have 93 steel. How many are those? 92. Oops. Okay, so let's lock all of these. Hmm. So I guess I'm only going to make a stack for now. So I'm going to grab a stack of iron and I'm going to decompose it. Grab the tin that I'm going to recompose into tin ingot. Like so. Remove that recipe. Trying to get as much done as possible, 3510. I'm going to grab two stack of carbon. We need 898, but I don't want to count the 98, so I'm just being lazy. Uh, and let's grab all of this iron that we've started the processing for. Oh, there's still some tin. Did I remove the recipe? No, good. Perfect. So let's finish the tin. Now let's put the iron in. And for the iron, don't forget, we want 15. That's the recipe for steel. 15 iron, one carbon. So now we're getting some steel. Uh, this two. This two. I'm almost done. Perfect. Let's put all of this in and let's get all of this steel. Great. So 64, 68 of the 92. Uh, not of the 92, of the 98. So 68 of 98. Just writing it down so I don't make the mistake of uh, recrafting that much. And I want to keep the resource updated. So six, I'm missing 30. Perfect. So the reason I wanted to make the steel early is that I have to start processing them into plate. And like we said, this machine is not super fast. So let's start it so it's cooking. Now, I'm going to grab one more iron, one more flint, just one. Uh, and I'm going to make the flint and steel. Flint, 
and steel like this. And I have a stone, let's make the button like this. So this I can put in the chest, they're all for the engine. So redstone torch for the nose cone, flint and steel for the engine, the button. And uh, I don't need this. Why do I have two tin canister on me? What are the tin canister used for again? I'm going to need one for the engine. Perfect. And what else? What's used in the oxygen vent? I don't need any in the oxygen vent. I don't know why. I have, oh, I have these two because I ate. And when I ate some food, it gave me those. Derp. Let me just put them in the chest here of those I want to keep. And now since I'm making steel, let's look at the oxygen vent. I was looking at the engine. Engine. And the engine had an oxygen vent. I know that I need three. I need three compressed in each and one compressed steel each. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need 18 tin. So of all the tin that I need to process, I'm going to grab 18 right now. Ooh, I have so much tin. How much tin do we need? I'm just going to check my list again. For the tin, we needed 37 tin ingot. So let's grab the 37 right now since we have all of it. Uh, 35, 36, 37. And now how much was used for the tin plate? We needed how many tin plate? For the tin plate, oh, so we need 19 ingot to make bronze. So 19 ingot for bronze and 18 for plate. So this is not done yet, but I'm going to interrupt it quickly because I want to get my tin to be able to make my oxygen vent. So that's going to give me uh, nine, exactly what I needed. Perfect. So this 19 is to make the bronze and I'm going to need a lot more copper before this is done. I think I also have enough of the aluminum. We need 38 compressed aluminum and that's one of the nice thing is that we got five from a quest re reward. So from the 38 compressed aluminum uh, plate, we only need 33 now. Let me just check one thing quickly. So in my other playthrough, I was going through these quests and when you make the refinery, you get an empty, can canister, uh, empty canister. So if you remember correctly, I said, oh, I got two filled one from the quest. And if you don't have, I showed you how to craft them, but you don't want to use, like, if you don't have those, you don't need them. Because once we craft the refinery, it's going to give us an empty canister. And from the empty canister that we get, we're going to be able to fill it from fuel from the refinery. So you basically get it. And when you build the engine, uh, not the engine, so booster, let's look at booster. So when you craft these booster, you need a filled fuel canister, but you get the empty canister back. So with this one canister, you fill it once, you put it in the rocket, uh, you build one booster, you go fill it a second time and you put it in the, the second booster. So you don't really need to get some more. Um, the tin plate are almost ready. Then I'm going to put back the steel. Voila. Perfect. So now I can craft from the other crafting station. I'm going to craft the three oxygen vent that we need. Perfect. So let's put the three oxygen vent in here. I'm going to keep the compressed steel. And the reason I'm going to keep the compressed steel is that I need some to make uh, the refinery, I think. So let's look into making the refinery. refinery. To make the refinery, we need two compressed steel. So let's rid of these, all of these, but two. So we have seven made out of the um, 37 that we need. So we're not there yet. And I'm going to leave the 19 teen and get here to make bronze. Then we need, what do we need for the refinery again? We need two stone easy. Oh, some copper canister. That's a lot of copper. I'm going to have to use seven copper right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not great, but you know, it is what it is. Let's make these and let's make a furnace. I don't have enough cobblestone. Let's grab the cobblestone and we'll make the furnace. So furnace, stone, stone, uh, no, stone and stone and plate and plate and the two copper canister and we get a refinery and the beauty of the refinery is that we get the empty canister and three reward bag let's take the one on the right what's in the reward bag hopefully something really good a lava tank nope not good don't care for it let's put it there okay so 
Now we need to start making some fuel. Let's set down the machine and I'll show you how to do that. Let's grab a stack of those. Uh, do I have any here, any here? Nope, perfect. So let's make some more crucibles. Crucibles and let's do this. Uh, I have one porcelain clay. I don't like having porcelain clay for no reason. So let's make a tenth one. So to make a tenth one, we're going to need six more of these let's get rid of these 10 and one two three four five six perfect let's put them together and let's make the last one throw all of this in here to cook oh i had something already in here so not two stacks let's grab some more of these transform it into fuel pellet fill that one with 64 fuel pellet and fill that one with whatever's left oh we're going to need some more. one two three four Let's refuel that also. And the plates are coming along well. But now that we have that, we're ready to set up the refinery. Let's grab some, a bucket. And unfortunately, oh, this is so much iron. One, two, three, one, two. I unfortunately need to craft some more liquid transfer node for the refinery. So one, two, uh, what else do I need? I need a pipe. I have a pipe, but that's not enough pipe. I'm gonna need to make some more pipe. So let's make four, uh, four glass. Give me, perfect. Let's make the four glass like so. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to need two of these and let's make the glass two sets because I need to have enough pipe to connect whatever I want to connect and the two glass like this and the two redstone now i can make another bucket oh i need an ender pearl i'm trying to not use all of my ender pearl but i'm using more and more and more hopefully we'll make some more soon which now talking about it i think i have one in my leaded chest and i hope it didn't decompose yet let's just go take a quick look at that also one important thing that i forgot to tell you guys about Oh, it's 16 and they're going to decompose in one hour. So we have to take care of that really soon. So one thing I forgot to tell you guys about, oh, no more stick, is that these, the, there's one problem with these logs. These logs do not uh, cook into fuel. So if you do not have the normal logs, you're not going to be able to make fuel. So you need to still keep some of the original type of trees. If you don't, uh, you're going to be able, you're going to need to craft some with some cellulose. So hopefully, like I have 10 here and I know that I have some upstairs. I'll just go and grab some upstairs and we'll set a little bit to cook. I just want to keep a stack on me when I need uh, logs. And while I'm here, I'm going to refuel my tank. I'm not being good with refueling my tank. I keep on forgetting. And how many other logs do I have? E seven is that it 17 is all i have okay so i'm gonna have to cut some trees uh at least i have some trees outside i have some still uh with the strings is it day yeah it's day and do i have an axe on me yeah but i'll come right back let's just go bring all of that downstairs and put the fuel set up down and i'll come back for this so this should get sorted into the right place. All of these. Ooh, these are not connected yet. Too bad. I'll do it later. So let's go downstairs. I'm going to need some lava, which is why I have this special lava space right here. And let's go connect the uh, refinery. So I want to reuse some of the power cables that I have. So I'm going to just put the refinery under here. Um, and I'm going to put it under because I need to be able to access it easily. So like this and the refinery right under because the power connector is on top of the machine. This is the input side. This is the output side. So now I'm going to break right here. These three, one, two, three, like so. Oh, not these three, this, these four, sorry. And I'm going to reclose that one and put that in the back right here. I'm going to put my lava right here and go like this, like that, and like that. Now I can put the uh, transfer node liquid. Oh, 
and one pipe to connect everything. So bring it over here and up one. So this is going to bring the fuel into here. Now we need a Jabba barrel to put the wood in. And I prefer Jabba barrel because of the lack of space that I have. So Jabba barrel, oh, 48 right here. Okay, I'm gonna grab everything because I don't need more. I have some trees outside and I'm going to put a Jabba barrel right here. Put not the jungle wood, but the nor not the jungle wood, the oak wood in here. And then I can use this and those pipe. So now I'm making oil. And if I come and look into here, the oil is coming in and it's being refined into fuel. So I can now put the empty canister here and the fuel goes into the empty canister. So we'll get, did I, yes, okay, I claimed the quest. So the next quest is fuel her up. Now it's not healthy to be rubbing yourself in if rocket fuel. So there's a machine that loads the fuel into the rocket for you. The fuel loader, simple name, right? Where we make a fuel loader and we'll get five more compressed aluminum. So we already had five of the 38 compressed aluminum. That's going to be another five. So we have now 10 out of the 38, which means we only need 28 more. So these quests are really helping us uh, in doing, in getting the rocket ready. So this should be ready soon, but we don't need a fuel. What we need is a fuel loader. I'm not going to craft the fuel loader this episode because I don't want to pass all of my material in that. I want to do a little bit of the rocket. Let me put all of this here and these, since I have them, I'm just going to put them down here, even though I don't have any um, transfer node. They're going to still fill with 8,000 lava by the time it's done. So this is good. I'm going to go downstairs, take a quick look at the resources to see if all's going well, this is still cooking some copper. And if I look in here, see it still has, oh, that's nothing. So it has 19 iron ore dust, that's good. One lead, one tin, one silver ore, and what's in here, one gold dust. Okay, so the gold dust is less important, but we're going to get the iron that we're missing to be able to do stuff. So this is taking its slow time, but at least it's getting done without any intervention from me, which is what you want to try to do all the time. The least intervention you have into preparing resource, the better you can spend time on the other thing. That being said, I'm the kind of person that if I wasn't doing a Siri, I would probably spend some time also sifting and processing resource manually just to accelerate the playthrough. But not that wouldn't really accelerate thing is that since they're menial tasks, I would do these menial tasks while playing something else. So the reason these are not going in is those three are not sorting chest. So let's just grab two gold and let's make a couple more sorting upgrade just because I want everything to start, sort properly. I just love that setup. Uh, let's put that here and I need some glass pane. I need four glass pane. So let's do like this and one, two, three, four. Perfect. Let's break down the gold and let's go to our crafting bench. Four and the gold nuggets around like so. Let's put the gold nugget here with his brother and now we can go one, two, three, four. And since we have that extra one right there, I'm going to use it for the ancient spores. And now I can come here and say, rearrange the, uh, rearrange the chest and all of this goes. And the raw metheric iron, raw silicon, sorry, always putting in here whenever I get some. Great. Let me, oh, I'm out of gravel. Okay. So that's not good. Let's start making more gravel. I'm going to do half a stack for now. I'm going to put that all in the machine and I'm going to let that decompose while that's decomposing. I'm going to see if I can transfer some hydrogen downstairs and I'm going to talk about my plan for the uh, hydrogen processing. So for the hydrogen, I want some Jabba barrel. So let me quickly look into that, putting it right here because that's the barrel I need to load the most. So I'm going to go back upstairs and show you the barrel, the Jabba barrel I want to make. Perfect. So if I look at Jabba barrel, at Jabba, I can craft these B space upgrade. So these B space upgrade connects two together. So sorry, there was an interruption. So they connect two together. 
And the way they do that is you put a B-Space upgrade in one barrel, like here, and another barrel there, and whatever you put into one barrel also appears in the second barrel, and you can extract from one or the other. So when you're looking at the hydrogen, the way I have the setup done, where I'm bringing some hydrogen to one and then to the other, and then like splitting them, well, instead of doing that, and instead of having all of my setup in one line like it is right now, I could have different station of four sterling generator all pulling from the barrel. And then my hydrogen, my first barrel, I would put right here because since this extract in stacks, it extracts much faster. And you see how there's always some hydrogen accruing here. Now it wouldn't accrue anymore. It would always go in the barrel and be accessible from hopefully everywhere. So that's something I want to do. The problem is not these B-Space upgrade. They're not that expensive. Well, they are kind of, but not that much because you make pistons and the pistons you can make with aluminum. So that's not too much of a problem. And the ender chest is made with obsidian, which is free and cheap. And I have ender, which are one ender pearl each. But at the beginning, I would want only three interconnected Jabba barrel, maybe four the max. These are not the problem. The problem is that they use two slots. So you need two slots of upgrade. And I have to check, I don't remember, but I think that you cannot put the Mark II until you at least have put a Mark I. And the Mark II is eight iron each, and the Mark I are four iron each. So let's say I wanted to make four barrels. I would need four ender pearls, and like I said, the rest is uh, four, so that would be eight uh, iron ingot. Uh, not eight aluminum ingot. But then I would need four level two upgrades. So I would need eight, 16, 32, plus 4, 8, 16. So I would need 48 iron. I have 46 iron right now, and I need those to make my rocket. So it's not necessarily the best thing to do. I'm going to bring these here, and now I'm at 29. So basically, we've already used three in the oxygen vent, and we have 29, and I'm saying that because I'm noting how many as we go to be able to give you the update of material at the end of this episode. So we have 29 of those crafted, which, and we needed 49. Uh, sorry, we don't have 29 of those crafted. We have 29 plus 3, 32. So we had 32 crafted, um, which means that we are missing uh, 15. Uh, no, not 15. 49 minus 42. We're missing 17. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. So for the 17, we're still going to need to decompose some iron. And I think that by now we've had enough iron and see, oh, some aluminum, some uh, copper. So we might be really good. But you know what? I'm afraid that it's going to be night soon and you know how long the nights are. So I'm going to take the time to go and extract my raw meteoric iron and cut down my trees and replant my trees. So where's my uh, precision shear right here? Do I have any trees here nope so let's grab a stack of bone meal and when we get upstairs i'll grab the saplings that i have do you have some more oxygen yes perfect like so and recharge this one perfect let's grab ooh, seven or twelve of those and let's make just one quick set of stick because we're going to need some um What's it called? Some crooks. And let's go take up care of all of this. So I need 18, uh, 17 raw meteoric ingots. So one, there's two over there. And so like that's one of the boring part, having to go all over and it's going to be night soon. So I really have to rush. Two, two more right there, cool. So that's gonna be three and four, three and four. Where are the closest one? None over here. There's one down there. It's not that close, but that seems to be the closest. And these things, I don't think they do that anymore, but they used to break the te terrain in the beginning. Uh, the first time I played this, when they crashed, they would break the terrain. And the reason why it was bad and it needed to be stopped immediately is that uh, if you were really unlucky, it would break your base. And if you were really, really unlucky, it had two fall on your base, you could end up with having your oxygen uh, production broken. And that was game ender. Like you couldn't reproduce those machines quickly enough to have oxygen and survive this. 
Uh, when they're red, it means that they're still odd. And I think that if you touch them manually with your hand, you get burned and you get like a little damage. So you know these are more recent when they're still red. Now, how many do I still need? I have nine. You know what? Let, let's put them visible so that I can know exactly how much more I need to hunt. And let's go upstairs. I have 10 now, so I need seven more. Let's go head back toward base because as you can see, night is coming. And uh, when night comes, you don't want to be outside usually. Ah, oh, I know what I screwed up. Okay, guys, so if you're seeing this and you haven't done your run yet, just get uh, one of the thing that gives you haste. Uh, the sucrose or I'm gonna have to go and look again, but I completely forgot like we could be running so fast if I had that So 13 14 15 16 right there in the 17. Yeah, we're gonna get everything right here going back home And we're going to harvest as much string as we can and replant whatever trees that we can It's going so slow. Sometimes you have to not jump Get some speed first and then you can jump a voila 17 perfect I don't want to waste any more time than that let's get the crook and that doesn't jump high enough what if I break this yes oh no that's not high enough okay what if I get a running start I feel like I'm derping all over the place now no okay so I know I can make that jump if I break these and I want to harvest and the reason we did that is I already knew from previously playing this we're going to eat a ton of wool because one of the thing that we need to make to go to others planet is the thermal protection layer and the thermal protection layer is all, all made with wool so I knew I was going to need a ton of wool that's why I wanted to start this as soon as possible and I'm just going to get as much as I can before it gets to be night and just a little bit more so that we're ready for this. I'm not going to be able to take down full trees and replant. So there's no point in actually trying to take a whole tree down. I'm just going to shave from the top as much as I can and get as much string as we can. And I don't even know if that would be enough. Like, let's say I had the time to break all of these tree. I'm not even convinced that I would have enough um uh, that I would have enough string to be able to build my protection layer because we need four per and I think it's basically a standard armor uh, so 24 wool that I would need might be even more because it might be a com uh, compost thing I just don't want to take a look at the recipe right now right now I want to break down as much of this tree as possible and that's something I should probably do in a time lapse but it's not going to be in today's episode so might as well just get a little bit more since I had to go outside. And you know what? This is a boring, repetitive task. I just wanted to get as much done, but it has no place during the episode. It's not like I have something to talk about. So let's go back inside. And since there's one right here, I'm just going to grab that one. And we're going to start cooking those. And I'm sure that my sugar cane farm is out of stick because it's uh, full. It's still, it's fully grown. Let me grab some stick right here and let me jump right here. And yeah, exactly as I thought. Let's get some more stick in. Oh, wait, it's not stick. It's actually a hoe. <laughs> okay, that's easily solved also. I'm really going to need to automate this at some point, but it's all automation that's going to cost some uh, iron. So until my rocket is done, I don't want to spend any time on that because once our rocket is done and we go to Mars, we're going to have a dead period where we're waiting on some stuff anyway. So we might as well do it then. Those are also ready. Let me put all of the raw metheric iron in here. And my last two, oh, 10 was the exact number to fill that spot. So that's kind of nice. And that's all done. So now that we have enough iron again, uh, we can start making some more steel. Basically, last time we made 54 iron. I took a whole stack, but I ended up, when I made the uh, fuel, the refinery, sorry. So when we made the refinery, I, I used two of the 64 that we created. So um, 64 minus two. So it's the equivalent of using one, two, three, four steel. So really out of the 98, we didn't make 64, we made 60. So now we need 98 minus 60, we need 38. 
So let's make 38 more steel. And to make 38 more steel, I think I only need 35. Let's just try that quickly. Because don't forget, these decompose into 16. So 16. Oh, I forgot my gravel. That's bad. Let's make the gravel quickly. Because I don't want to not be sieving gravel. It's one of the most valuable resource. And let's put that right in here. Perfect. Okay, so no, it's, it's going to be one more. And I don't care if I have too much steel because we're going to need it in other machines anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stack, eight stack. Wow, that's going to be nine stack. Let's put it in here and let's make some more steel. So 15 and one. And let's make all of that steel. So that's 39, uh, 39 steel. <sighs> I made one too many. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Not a problem. Let's put all of this in here. And that extra one we'll just throw in here for now. Oh, what's this rock doing here? Don't want you there. You go in here. And I'm going to run out. Oh, it's a moon turf. We're going to run out of moon turf. I'm going to need to craft some of that soon also. Let me get rid of those shears and this. Okay, the other thing that we needed, that we hadn't taken, is we needed 38 aluminum, uh, 38 compressed aluminum. So how much aluminum ingot did we need? We needed 76 aluminum ingot, and then we already had 20, so we need 56. Do I have enough? No, I don't have enough. I don't have the 56. How much copper did I need? I need... 57 copper minus three because we already made one set of bronze so i need 55 i'll really buy one copper oops no place for the lead and silver so silver here lead there and if i reorganize this yeah they now sort properly because i have the sorting barrel oh really i'm so close to having all of the copper i need so let me go grab the tin here the 1910 and I took 19 but I don't need 19 I need 18 the reason I only need 18 is we already made one set of uh, what's it called one set of uh, bronze before so let's do this oh 54 yeah I miscounted 57 minus 3 is 54 derp so that's all of the bronze that I need so once the steel is done I can start uh, breaking down the bronze into the bronze plate if it wasn't how expensive the compressor is and the fact that I want to make a, an electric compressor later I would probably have made an extra one just to break stuff down faster but it's really not worth it so we have all of the bronze we need is that true how many bronze did we need we needed 36 compressed bronze and these are going to compress into 36 so we have all of the compressed bronze that we need we don't have all of the compressed aluminum because we need 56 and we only have 50 for now. But the way we're pumping out resource, I'm pretty confident that we're going to get what we need pretty soon. So that's it for this. That's it. What else can I make as part of my list? I'm just trying to see to make as much of the rocket as possible. And for now, I think this is pretty much everything I could make so at the end the compressed steel I needed 49 compressed steel we already used three uh, no did we use only three or more than three no we used three in the oxygen vent we have 29 here so 29 32 32 and so sorry 46 plus 3 that's 49 50 and 51. Oh, where did it go? Really? I feel like I just lost one. I thought I was going to get 49. Okay, I hope it was just a miscount on my part. So we needed 49, so we made too many. I don't know how I miscounted that so bad. So let me put all of that in here. I have some bronze in here. I can start cook, uh, making the rest of the bronze now. And we're going to let that continue. So in the next episode, I'm going to continue working on the rocket. And we're going to make the fuel loader. If we look quickly at the recipe for the fuel loader. 
What's going on? Delete. Fuel. Loader. We're going. Oh, that's the one that takes five compressed steel. So we're going to need more compressed steel anyway. So that's not going to be a problem. I'm just going to recalculate everything to make sure I didn't do anything wrong. And we're going to need some compressed aluminum. So I might as well sacrifice two of the compressed aluminum for that. So we're still lacking a lot of aluminum. The other thing I want to start working on is compressing that cobblestone. And to compress that cobblestone, we're going to use not one of the, we're not going to use the crafters because they use power and I'm having power issues right now. We're going to use the relocation crafters. So that's what we're going to do in the next episode because we're going to want to compress this into triple compressed cobblestone. That's something that I had not seen correctly. I remember telling you about decomposing compressed cobblestone. So if you decompose compressed cobblestone, um, if you decompose compressed cobblestone, you have a 12% chance of getting one, always one oxygen or one of these things. And I said the double compress is better because with the double compress, if you decompose a double compress, you have 12% chance of getting 90 of one resource. I don't know, I must have misclicked the triple compress because the triple compress is amazing. You have 12% of getting 130 of each type of resource and a ton of oxygen. Not 12% chance of getting 130 sodium or 130 chlorine. No, 12% chance of getting 130 of all of these, which means 130 iron, which means eight, nine, I think it's nine ingot? No, it's eight ingot at a time. And eight ingot of lead, which don't need that much lead, and the magnesium, but the silicon's always good. So that's what we want to aim for. We don't want to decompose too often because it costs energy. But this is going to make uh, triple compressed cobblestone the tower I'm going to build here. And the triple compressed cobblestone, once in a while, I'm going to grab whatever is there, throw it in the chemical decomposer, and see whatever resource we get. I really want to connect this to the wall at some point, but until we start getting massive more amount of gold, I ha don't have the ability of putting sorting on all of those. I might only connect some of them, like all the one that comes from the chemical decomposer to do things faster, but since they're far apart, I would need to go behind them and put some uh, sorting connector all around, which is still kind of expensive. So guys, this is pretty much where I'm going to end this episode. Unfortunately, we didn't add any part to this, but we got the fuel refinery going. And if I go downstairs, because that's the biggest accomplishment of this episode, and already I went through all of the wood, and I made one full tank and two more tanks of fuel tank. So I have enough fuel to make my rocket. So guys, I'm going to go in a quick time lapse, and the quick time lapse is just going to be uh, for trying to solve my... No, I'm not going to stack any time lapse here, because there's nothing really that I need to do. I'm still just waiting on resource. Although the time lapse will, would help on getting resource. Let me just check quickly. See, I'm not cooking anything anymore because I'm probably waiting on things to be processed and things are... What? How did this... Oh, I didn't say do not take iron. Oh no, I have an item filter. I have no idea how this iron ingot got in here, but it basically dead killed my whole production of resource. So I have some more aluminum, I have some more copper, I have some more iron in here, and you know what? So that's really not good. So I'm gonna do a quick time lapse. This is the what I've completed today. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse to try and get my H resolve, try and make sure that nothing is stuck anywhere in my system because finding out that I stopped producing resource is not good. So guys, Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.